Hey guys, welcome back to Two Aussie Thrifters. It is that time of the month again. Time for what sold. So I'm gonna go through 15 bolos and nine nolos for the month of April, and then give you the breakdown of everything we sold over that period. So let's head out to the shed and get straight into it. Today's What Sold is going to cover mostly hard goods and shoes, actually all hard goods and shoes. We are going to talk about 15 bolos, 5 nolos and 1 Poshmark sale. <laughs> Very nice. Before we get started, we do get asked here and there what sort of items we use to post and all that sort of stuff. So what I've done is I've actually updated our affiliate links below with all the different types of satchels that we use, the bubble wrap, even our cameras and our Dymo. So if you guys want to check that out, you can click on those links. If you do click on those links, we will get a very small kickback. Uh, as part of the affiliate program. If you don't like us, you can just copy those, drop them in eBay and not worry about clicking the links and then we don't get anything. <laughs> Let's get straight into the sales for April, the 15 bolos and the five nolos. You're up number one. First off the rank, Isabel Rossi Loafers. This is the first time we've sold this brand. I'd absolutely do it again. Picked these up in Savers for $8.85 and sold them for $59.99. We made $34.14. Nice sale there. I wouldn't have known that brand, so good pick up. <laughs> uh, we've been selling a lot of these Seagum Mega Drive bundles lately. We're still getting through a lot of them. Uh, we sold this set with six games for $145. We paid 30 bucks inclusive of everything. Uh, uh, and that left us a profit. A pro approximately profit <laughs> of. $71.25. Lovely. We sold a PS3 game. This one was Katam Katamari Forever. It was an NTSC and we picked it up for a buck and sold it for 45 which means we made $29.25. Nice. This Zelda Twilight Princess oh. gold foil trading card. So Jazzy found these as part of the gaming lot and we didn't really know what we had <laughs> and we parted them out. These gold ones go for crazy money. So we sold this one for $111.11. Cost of goods four bucks, leaving us $82.44 profit. I don't expect to be finding these in the <laughs> wild but if i saw like zelda cards in a folder in an op shop i'm gonna be flicking through to see if there's any golds or even silver foils 100 we sold this film splicer i'm not going to try and pronounce it it's a german brand it was in really good condition in its box we picked it up for two bucks mm. and we sold it for fifty dollars so we made thirty two dollars and fifty cents yeah that was a very cool little item in the in the box there. not something we grab all the time but if i saw another one that clean yeah, definitely. I'd pick it up. Next up, we've talked about this a little bit on the channel now. It is broken consoles. Mm -hmm. So this one came from that bulk lot we picked up. Obviously, we're going to get good and bad with that lot. We paid $4 for every single item in that lot. So $4 per item. We ended up selling this one for 50 bucks. So it just goes to show you can sell broken uh, gaming consoles because people buy them either for parts or to mod them out and upgrade them to newer outputs. So happy to get that one out the door. $50, leaving us $24.50 in the pocket. I'll take it. <laughs> It was our first time selling this particular brand of hiking shoes, and I think it's called Olang. Um, I will be looking out for that little logo again. We paid $16 for these, and we sold them for $68.50, which means that we made a profit of $30.23. And the only reason I really started looking those up was because on the bottom it had that little Vibram logo. Mm -hmm. So if you see that and you don't know the brand, just give it a quick look up on uh, eBay, because most of the time it's probably going to be worth some money. So that little flash of yellow means money. Uh, next up, we sold this Adventures of Lolo NES oh, no. game, NTSC, so it's an American version. We sold that for $49.95, paid $4 in the bulk lot, leaving us $30.46 profit in the pocket before tax and all those <laughs> sorts of things. All those things. Back to shoes. We sold a pair of Sorel Sorrel women's waterproof boots. We paid $14, we sold them for $119.95, and we made a profit of $67.96. This is a brand that we try to pick up every time we see it, if it's in good nick. Yeah, Sorel is a great brand. Definitely worth keeping your eye out for it when you're in the thrift. Next up, Ink. We've spoken about this numerous times on the channel. We haven't picked up a lot lately, but we picked this HP 36A toner up for four bucks. We ended up selling it for 50. So after all fees and shipping and lots of stuff, we made $23.70. Always on the lookout for those genuine brands, 100%. HP, Canon, Brother. Yeah. 
we sold a DVD. It was the Doctor Who series. Um, so we paid a combined total of $2.10 for this set and sold it for $49.95 and we made $31.36. Yeah, so it was like five in the set that we bundled up. So that's a good tip if you guys are picking up this sort of stuff is if you have like sort of DVDs, put them together, get your ASP up a little bit higher and save yourself a bit on postage as well. And so. I'm really glad that I wrote out one address on the computer instead of five addresses by <laughs> hand. 100%. <laughs> Next up, you saw us pick up a while ago a lot of this BMW stuff at the car auction. We sold this filter for $43. We paid five bucks each, leaving us $23.55. I'm loving them. They're ticking over. They don't get returned. Definitely. We haven't had many textbooks recently, but I got back in the textbook section at Savers the other week and I found this Australian political institutions book. And if you're looking this one up on eBay to check me, there actually weren't comps. Um, I just knew that this was a book that had been used previously and I did check to see if it had had the edition replaced. I couldn't see an update. So I snagged it for four bucks, sold it, I think the next day for 45 bucks. We made 26.25 with textbooks, guys, just always check if there's a new edition out because that usually renders the old one useless yeah definitely great advice there next up we picked up a rambo 3 for sega master yes. system we got that in a bulk lot from one of our local op shops we paid a dollar each for all those games which was awesome this one sold pretty quickly for 49 bucks so that gave us 32.65 profit on that one item I had not seen the rambo game before and we've had a lot of master system yeah. games through so <laughs> bolo uh, my other textbook that I picked up on the same trip was the Style Manual, the 6th edition. Again, there were not many on eBay, but I know that this one's in demand and that they are still using the 6th edition. So $4 into $49.95 left us $30.46. Gotta love that. Uh, next up, you actually picked up this Oraton Vintage Bag. Yes, just now, recently. This is a Poshmark sale, so pretty happy with that one. You, we're actually with Cara when we found this and you kind of ran over and you're like, is this I legit? I did. Shout out our girl Thrifty Pixie, because I was like, Oraton? Yeah. It looks old. Cara, vintage Oraton. And she confirmed that that is a great pickup for four dollars. We put it on eBay and we put it on Poshmark and it sold on Poshmark in like 27 minutes I think. Yeah, crazy. So that was a very, very good sale for our second ever Poshmark sale because we made 28 bucks. Yeah, so sold it for 40 and a good little profit there. All right, you guys always like us talking about the knowledge. We like to talk uh, about the good and the bad on our channel. So you're not shame. always going to pick up crazy good items when you're in the thrift. A lot of the stuff that we share in the knowledge we picked up in like bulk lots or when we're really early on and still learning in the game. So we like to share them with you guys so you guys are aware that, you know, we still make mistakes mm -hmm. and there are things out there that may look really good at the start but don't always work out. So we've got five items here that we want to share with you guys. First up, and this is probably going to be a little bit of a surprise, this Canon 3E e Magenta Ink. I probably wouldn't pick it up again because we only sold it for 15 bucks we paid two dollars so realistically we only made two dollars 75 so it just goes to show that not every single ink and every single tone that you find in the op shop or a garage sale is going to be worth money look it up the only reason i'd probably buy this again is if it was in like a bundle of every color and a black and then you're probably going to get a little bit more um value out of it but individually probably not really worth it yeah great brand but not really used anymore in that specific 3e yeah uh, this DVD is one of the ones that we got in a bulk lot for 42 cents each. I heart Hucklebees. <laughs> we only sold it for 15 bucks, sent it untracked. So we made $4.33, but it takes a bit of time writing out those addresses. So yeah. was it worth it? <laughs> uh, next up, so a piece of clothing has actually snuck into this video. <gasps> this ACD Highway to Hell tee. Now we picked this up as part of a wholesale lot. So this is why I've included this because I wanted to be very uh, transparent with you guys and let you know when we're making good money and when we're making not so good money. <laughs> so this one was in that lot. We paid $16 per t-shirt um, this was part of a black tea mix that we picked up we sold it for $32.95 so after all our fees shipping it made us four dollars and one cent now we had to spend quite a lot of time obviously steaming that taking photos measurements so that four dollars to us probably isn't worth the time we invested now when saying that when you're buying wholesale you're going to get a lot of those high-end items and those lower end items so we just list them all to try and get the best value out of that lot so what I'm trying to say here is I wouldn't pick that up again if I was in a thrift store for that price, but in a bulk lot, you get the good and bad. Evens out in the wash, as they say. This Mighty Beans mini carrier, we picked this up at a garage sale and we thought, oh, we'll <laughs> find heaps of these and we'll like make a big bundle. They're super collectible, but we never found any more. So eventually I just listed the sucker 
paid a dollar, we sold it for 22 and we made $9.70. I wouldn't sell these individually again. Yeah, and you guys are probably thinking $9.70, yeah, that's a good profit, but it took a long time to get rid of. Uh, and we want to be shooting for that ASP of 40 and upwards, um, just for our circumstances and our store, that's what we want to aim for. So that one there, we're putting on the NOLO list, simply because it took too long. Too long! Next up, last NOLO for the month, it is this Funko Pop Star Wars 120. Uh, the number is 120. Now, this actually got cancelled, but I wanted to oh. put this up as well because there's two downers there. Obviously, it's cancelled. And if they had have actually gone through with payment, we would have only made $2.29 because it sold for $17.99. We paid $5 at the start. So, just want to show you guys some of the ups and downs with Punk Funko Pops because we've had some really great sales before. But once again, when you're buying in bulk like that, you're going to get those $15, $16 mm -hmm. ones as well. So... That's our Nolos for the month. We want to hear from you guys what your Bolos and Nolos are, so leave them in the comments. But before we leave you today, we're going to get straight into what we actually sold for the whole month of April. That's a wrap on April. I don't know how this year is flying so fast. Yeah, so we had a little bit of a slower April and there's a few factors to that. We had a pretty busy April with a lot of other things. We were trying to relist a lot of items, so we probably didn't get a lot of new items up, although we were sort of still shooting for that trying to get 20 a day. Uh, and we had a couple returns of Vero as well. Um, but realistically, they're just excuses and we need to get better at uh, eBay and keep learning. So for the whole month of April, we sold $14,481.63. Oh. So we're down about six, 700 bucks on last month. That's okay. Um, we've had a really good start to May so far. So hopefully that continues. We're super grateful for all of our sales, but it's also not where we want to be. And that's on us. Yeah, 100%. So we sold 272 items and our ASP was quite good at $53.24. So as Jazzy said, we've got some work to do. We want to get rid of all our item specifics this month and try and get them down to zero. There's even though so many. <laughs> we have like a thousand more to go. Uh, we want to continue to grow our store and continue to build. So Thank you for joining us on this What Sold video. As I said before, let us know in the comments those What Solds for you, Nolos and Bolos. Otherwise, leave us a big thumbs up and we will see you next time on Twilly Thrifters. Love yous. Bye for now. No! <laughs>